was that? What the? What was that? Molly, what did you do? Relax. It was just it was just half an MED this time. Look, I, I made a crater. You have to come see this. I layered the sediment. It's in the 4 30 in the morning. I swear I have neighbors. Why are you doing this now? For geology. It's due tomorrow or today in like three and a half hours, actually. And I have to get up in the morning. Remember that? I swear, at least just one time, I'm begging you, just let me sleep through the night. <sighs> There's gas lines and water lines down there. I checked. You can't just randomly do stuff like this. I checked. What? I had the utilities come out <laughs> yesterday in Mark, and he did a survey and he marked. Look, I'm not stupid. And how much did that cost? I, they spread it out over the bills. Look, I just, it just took me a lot longer than I planned a, a lot longer, and. All right, I'm up now. Show me what you're doing, Professor. I wanted to recreate craters from volcanic eruptions. And I had to do it here because the sedimentary deposits are exactly- You just made a baking soda volcano. Well, as sad as I know it makes you, Dad, I'm not in third grade anymore. Get out of there, Molly! San Andreas Fault is pretty much in the boonies. We're up near Paso Robles, uh, putting in the next set of sensors, and if all goes well, we'll have them all in by tomorrow evening. And I cannot wait to come home. I've missed you both. So, good night. Bye! Molly? Molly, where are you? Oh, another all-nighter, huh? Science doesn't sleep. <sighs> but normal people do. I did. I just got up early. Done. Yes! Oh, it was just a bad power supply. All 19 sensors are up and running perfectly. Make you some eggs? Oh, no, 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 I made breakfast. Wait, what? <laughs> Since when? Since I thought it would melt the ice storm with Miss You-Know-Who. I thought we could all eat together. Oh, that's sweet, but I told you, I'm taking up a couple of lovebirds at 8 o'clock this morning. I only got a couple of minutes. What? When? Last night, when you are fussing with your iPad. Shoot. Maybe I should have sent you a text message. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. I've been distracted. And working a little too hard? No, look, I'm sorry. I'm just getting really close. These swarms. You know, we've had 12 minor M1 quakes in the last 72 hours. Something's up, something big. I don't feel like I have any time to waste. Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out. 
I know you will. At least let me get you some toast. Oh. You like yours well done, right? <laughs> Perfect. Is Allie awake? I made her favorites. French toast with mascarpone and turkey sausage. You know how to make all that? No, but there's these wonderful little books that I found with step-by-step -step instructions. Cooking books, I think that's what you call them. <laughs> She'll come around. I hope so. Eventually. Stepmoms are no competition for the influence of a new boyfriend. Mm. I figure when that relationship ends, and I hope soon, that she'll turn to me again. And I can convince her to go back to school. Mm. Right. Morning, Allie. I made you breakfast. Dad. Molly. Really? Okay. Thanks, but I gotta run. But it's French toast with mascarpone. I'm trying to watch what I eat. All that sugar and carbs. <laughs> oh, please, you're a rail. I got a jet anyway. You know how long it takes to get from Rosemead to downtown? Why do we even live here? Because Rosemead sits on a giant slab of granite, and that's exactly where you want to be when an earthquake strikes. Well, it's not where you want to be when you're 18. Well, why don't you have your boyfriend over here? We can all have dinner. There's no boy. See you later, Dad. You think your passengers want breakfast? <laughs> Plenty. Put it in the fridge. I'll have it for dinner. And for one day, try to not think of earthquakes. A series of minor temblers causes jitters throughout the Southland. Two dozen tiny earthquakes registering 1.0 on the Richter scale or lower has seismologists scratching their heads this morning, while the string of temblers seems to have gone largely unnoticed for most Los Angelinos. We'll check in with Tiffy Santos at Venice Beach and your weather report from Cavs. Okay, now with this final piece in place, all 19 sensors along the entire fault line are gonna start pinging each other. And the system is gonna crunch that data and send me back reports. And when we take all the data streams from all the sensors, we get this. Danny? Hold on to your butts. Each sensor monitors micro-seismic activity. And that's the changing ratio between shear waves and pressure waves within a 50-mile radius. Real-time monitoring, that's nothing new. No, not just real-time monitoring. Predictive extrapolations for all microquake activities along the entire San Andreas Fault. See these white circles? They're microquakes. Can anyone tell me the importance of the microquake? Well, they're important because... Because some theorize they can be good predictors for force shocks, or even quakes themselves. And if we were in the business of predicting earthquakes, the microquake would be our best source of data. But it can't be done because it's not possible. What can? not Predicting quakes. Well, that might be true, but I happen to believe that it can be. Yeah, and how'd that work out for you in 2008? <sighs> well, someone's done their homework for once. Yes, I was wrong. I guess you could say I acted before I had all the data. I was hasty, but this is different. Here's the catch. See these white circles? They're microquakes, and they haven't happened yet. But I will bet you dollars to donuts they will, and in an hour's time, to be specific. And in predicting the microquake, we can further extrapolate that data into exponentially bigger, more timely predictions. I don't buy it. And that's all the time we have for today. Come get your graded field reports. Really good job, everybody. And if you have any questions, I'll be in the campus cafe, OK? I deserve an A. What? I need it. I could lose my scholarship. You should have studied more. I'm trying, OK? But do you know how many classes I have? How much I have to read? I'm working all the time. A students make the time. I have a problem with know-it-all students who show a lot of promise and squander it all away on girls and drinking. I know your type. You read on the road once, and suddenly you have all the answers. I'm not seeing a lot of girls. I might just be a teacher, but I hear all the gossip. And that's great. You should be having fun. But just because you're smart, Nick, and you really are, I can see what you're capable of when you actually try, but it doesn't mean you don't have to do the work. Oh, excuse me. 
Hey. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a student. Same old, same old. Any word from Allie on her first day at the front desk? Uh, you know Allie. She's probably running that hotel by now. She can fend for herself. Too true. Have you taken off yet? I'm oh, gassing up right now. Hey, how was the field trip? It was fine. Except for the aforementioned student brought up 2008. Oh, uh, forget 2008. Remember that Edison failed like 10,000 times before he invented the light bulb, right? You mean before he stole it and patented the idea? <laughs> I'm just nervous. I'm waiting on some data to come in. Oh my god. What is it? Oh my god. What's going on? Oh my god, Hank. Molly, tell me what's happening. It's working. It's really, really working. Hank, oh my god. What is? The microquakes that I predicted, the pressure, the velocity, the slip, you name it, it's happening. That, that's, that's great, right? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to call you back. Uh, I gotta call that smug SOB over at Caltech. I love you. I love you too. Yeah, go, go, go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Professor Dunn? Yeah, look at that. Those green dots? Confirmed predictions. That's 45 to 63 minutes in advance. That's incredible. It's more than incredible. It's... Oh, no. Oh, I was right about the swarm. Something's up. What? Look. It's big and it's close. You're saying that's going to hit in two minutes? The microquakes? This system had 97.7% accuracy in predicting them. Oh. We've got to get everybody out. Are you sure? I mean, where are you getting this confirmation data from? Yes, I'm sure. Straight from the USGS. But have you checked the raw data yet? Miss, we have to get everyone out of the restaurant. Huh? We are about to have an earthquake. Okay, I have to tell my manager about Look, that. Look, Professor Dunn, I'm sure everything's gonna be okay, all right? There's just nothing to worry about. Uh, gun! Gun! He's got a gun! Everybody out of here! Hey, 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 it didn't happen. No, 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 it's okay. I don't have a gun. That's like too long. Uh, uh, I said I don't have a gun. No, 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 he doesn't have a weapon. Hands behind your back. Code Red, Code Red, no, Campus no, no. Cafe. No, oh, sir, sir, I'm sorry. He does not have a weapon. Really, I made a mistake. He doesn't have a weapon. I made a mistake. You're clean? Yeah. Confirm for me, ma'am. There is no one with a weapon. No, no one. With a weapon? No one with a weapon. I'm sorry. Cancel code red, false alarm, I repeat, false alarm. Sir, I'm sorry. I was just trying to get everyone out. OK, we don't joke about this at all. You know how much paperwork I got to fill out? I thought, I thought there was going to be an earthquake. <laughs> It's a lot different from Iowa, huh? Yeah. Well, Roy's never seen the ocean. I was in the Army, so I've seen a lot, but not much was this breathtaking. Look at those boulders. Does that happen a lot? Whoa. Control, this is Bell Fort Delta Chaz. I'm witnessing a major rock slide event east of Point Magoo. Oh, man, it's taking down houses and high tension wires. Possible injuries. Notify emergency services immediately. Oh my god. Roger that, Bell 412. We're on it. That's an earthquake. We're getting shook up pretty good down here. Sit tight up there for a moment. We're suggesting a reroute over to Malibu Creek. Over. Roger that, Control. Excuse me, guys. I need to make a quick call. Allie, it's Dad. Are you OK? What are you so happy about? 
4.7 magnitude. I was dead on. I mean, off by a minute, but hell, close enough. Hank, are you okay? I was gonna ask you the same thing. We could see the shaking from up here. Are you okay? Yeah, how's Ellie? She's fine. I just talked to her. Actually, everything's great. My system gave me over three minutes warning. I was able to get everyone to safety before it struck. Thank goodness. So much for no earthquakes today, huh? All right. <laughs> Tell me about it. How'd your buddy Chet take it? Oh my god, I haven't even called him yet. Everything happened so fast. Well, make sure you be careful, all right? Hank? Hank. Oh my god. We've got to get Allie and get out of town. What are you talking about? All the data from the sensors confirm it. This is it. The big one's coming today. Shaken, but not stirred. A 4.0 Tembler off the Malibu coast, or what Los Angeles residents call Wednesday. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ron Yance, and this is a 10 Action News special report. Residents in Malibu and parts of Pacific Palisades today are reporting moderate damage and no injuries after what happened. A hundred years old. <laughs> I thought this place was new. How can that be safe? Sir, I assure you, the hotel has been retrofitted for earthquakes. I, I know it looks threadbare right now, but we do plan to refurbish next year. No, no. I need a lower room, at least. Near an exit. Ooh. <laughs> I always said the first time Arnie and I kissed, the earth moved. <laughs> Glad to see we haven't lost our touch. So that was your fault. <laughs> well, no more, please. I see you had a productive time shopping, and that's a beautiful necklace. Oh. You're a dear. Rubies are for the 40th, but I prefer diamonds. <laughs> I don't usually shop like this, but it is our anniversary. Duty calls. That's right. You told us. That is so wonderful. Oh, you know, we shared our first kiss right over there. It was blue crushed damask then, but fashions change. Anyways, would you please hold our bags while we go have a quick bite? Absolutely. Never go to bed angry. That's the secret. Here. Here. You two would make a cute couple. I'm hungry. Don't wait too long. Let's go. Just a quick bite. Back soon. Take your time. Oh, we'd make such a cute couple. What would your boyfriend say? What would yours say? <gasps> Four-way. Uh, cover me a minute. It's the stepmom. She probably is just freaked about that quake. Really? He can help you, sir. Molly, I'm fine. We barely felt it downtown. Good. But now you're going to have to leave work. Things are going to get really bad. What? No. We are getting out of town now. Not this again. I will pay you $1,000 to get out of there now. I won't say another word about your boyfriend, whoever he is. Listen to me. This is going to be a 10.0. The hotel has only been retrofitted for up to an 8.0. Alley downtown is a seismic amplification corridor. It will be destroyed. The lady from Caltech is on TV right now. She says it's we'll nothing to worry about. The data more thoroughly. Hello? Allie, are you listening? Allie? Hank? Hello? Hank? I'm here. The call must have dropped. I'll try her again. Wait, wait, wait. What if the cells go down? What should we do? What? Molly, can you hear me? We we've got to get out of here. This is going to be exponentially bigger than what we just felt. The entire grid is going to fall. Allie. I'm going to go get her. No, wait. I'll get her. You won't have enough time to get out of the city. OK, Molly? Hank? Molly, can you hear me? Listen. Honey, I don't have enough time or fuel to get you and her. Get Allie. I'll see you there. Meet us on top of her building. That's just what I was going to say. I was thinking the same thing. In 80 minutes. No later, Hank. Molly? Molly! Hank! Holy shit. Little detour, folks. We're going to have to stop and get some gas. Shit. Hank. Get there. Now you better stay put. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ron Yance, and this is 10 Action News, bringing you the latest on the earthquake activity. We've got our team live at the USGS facilities, and from what we understand, 
They are about to start their news conference at any minute. Okay, here we go. We estimate it to be a 5.1 earthquake with an epicenter in Malibu. In all likelihood, there will be minor aftershocks. Do you have a phone, a landline? Is it local? It's an emergency. Our seismologists will be reviewing the data more thoroughly, but at this time, we estimate it to be... Caltech Geological Survey, this is... Chet, it's Molly Dunn. Oh. Hey, Molly. You okay? I heard that last quake hit a little close to you. Yeah, I'm fine. Cell towers are going down, and I don't know the next time I'll be able to get to a landline or how long they'll last, so you have to listen to me. We have got to enact a level four evac. This is going to be big. Upwards of an M10, Chet. Molly. Molly, please. My system works, Chet. It knew about Malibu four minutes before it happened. Molly. And now I'm showing no fewer than 18 right lateral strike slip warnings on 19 of my units up and down all 800 miles of the San Andreas, Chet. Yeah, in 2008 you said the same thing, only it turned out to be dune buggies and a high wind. That was eight million lines of code. Chet, your code. These are new rigs, new code, and it's working. A, a level four evac, Molly. Do you have any idea what I'd have to do? Will you just look at my data? Please. <sighs> All right, fine. Send it over to me, I'll take a look at it. I did. Check your inbox. We have got to pull the trigger on this evac protocol. You want me to evacuate 13 million people because your science project made a lucky guess. That's not good science. It's an M10, Chet. Listen to me. I, I gotta go. There will be minor aftershocks, but if any do occur, the frequency of these events should taper off quickly. Oh, no, no, no! Professor Dodd? Nick, I'm sorry about earlier and I'm sorry about the grade, but I really don't have time for this right oh, now. How's Allie? Huh? Allie, is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. I can't get a hold of her. Did she leave the hotel yet? She's so stubborn. You were Allie's boyfriend. I wanted to be upfront about it. She made me swear not to tell. She said you disapprove. Yeah, she's right. Excuse me. Are you gonna go get her? I am. You need a car, right? Yes, I will. We can use mine. We? Or I can go on my own. If you think you can get there before me, be my guest. All right, where's your car? Over here. Oh, you can't be serious. She'll get us there. All right, take PCH. We should stay off the elevated freeways. Good, I'd say no damage here, not even a crack. Meet me in the ballroom. Uh, that was uh, quite a little shaker we had there. Um, is everything looking okay? I mean, yeah, that's actually pretty old, it's nothing new. Everything's checking out fine. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, the technology today. When I was a kid, it was a real luxury to have your picture taken. I've had more pictures taken in the last five years than my entire life. <laughs> Say cheese. You'll send that to us? Of course. <laughs> oh, is dear Mr. Dittman around? No, at a conference, but I'm sure he'll be happy to see you tomorrow. Wonderful. I'll radio you and the dim sums here. Okay. Is this thing safe so soon after a quake? Sure thing. It's been retrofitted up to an 8.0. All right, well, too out of shape to take the stairs anyway. All right, 14th floor. I hope this thing can make it. 
Oh, well, it's perfectly safe. other way I could think to get a message to you both. 2,000 hideous fake metal palm trees disguised as cell towers all over the entire Los Angeles area and I can't even make a single phone call. All right, well, here's the plan. I'm coming downtown. Allie, I know about Nick and he's with me, coming to get you. We just caught a glimpse from up high of the entire San Gabriel Basin and there are fires and smoke and helicopters Angry people panicked. Allie, if you're getting this, please just stay put. Stay in the hotel. It looks like the duration between four shocks is decreasing, which means that the big, big one might actually hit sooner than my prediction model suggested. I can't be sure until I get some sort of GPS or cellular to cross-reference the seismic or the geological data from all the sources on and off the continent. But forget about all that. Just stay put, Allie. If you're getting this, stay put. We're coming to get you. It is getting very crazy out here. According to this, we're about to have another minor trembler. What's minor? An M3 or 4. We might not even feel it, though, in the moving. I knew it! I I'm sorry, I'm... All right, all right, get me out of here. Don't worry, hon, don't worry. This contraption has lasted a hundred years. That means it's it's strong, not weak. Oh. Ah. Are you okay, Mr. Lundstein? Oh, oh, what's wrong? Sweetheart, where's your medication? The nightstand. Where do you think? Oh, he left his medicine on the nightstand. Why would you leave it there? <laughs> oh. oh. Hello, anyone there, Jackson? Oh, God, please get this door open, please. Minor tremors? Well, the data's hitting me in fragments, okay? The entire infrastructure must be hosed. I'm missing some packets. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get some a data signal or a Wi-Fi or something. Oh, good. I could use a latte. What are we gonna do? <sighs> Look at the bright side. I can't believe this is happening. How are we gonna get downtown? Damn it! Not my baby! Can he fix it? Oh, she's not going anywhere. What are we gonna do now? I got us covered. Bow, girl. Really? What are you doing? This van was my baby. You don't remember your first car? No. You don't remember your first car? No, come on, let's go. Uh, Ali said that about you. 
What? Nothing. Let me just grab something. Well, please hurry. Oh, my God. Kerouac. Really? Oh? What was that? Nothing. Let's go. Which one do you think? We're going to steal a car? Well, if you're right, there's not going to be a car left anyways. What if the owners need it? More than we need it? <sighs> no, 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 no. This one's unlocked. Last thing we need is a lacerated wrist. Think before you act, please. <sighs> you know, if you're trying to convince me you're a good influence on my stepdaughter, it's not working. Look, I'm not trying to convince you of anything, all right? Look at me. Look at me. You're going to be all right. Cough. Cough. It helps. Cough. Take deep breaths, Arnold. Arnie, please don't leave me. Please stay with me. But, sir, sir, hand me my purse, please. I think there's some aspirin in it. I think it could help. Let me call you sweetheart. I'm in love with you. Damn it, the network is completely down. I have no idea how that activity affected the prediction model. Take Canyon Road. Canyon Road? That'll take forever. You think the freeways are gonna be any faster? I just want you to know, I'm not seeing any other girls. I thought you weren't trying to convince me. I'm committed to Allie. Well, if you were so committed to her, why did you convince her to drop out of school? What makes you think that was my idea? And that tattoo, I bet that was your idea as well. God, you really don't know Allie, do you? Look, she dropped out of college on her own, OK? It was holding her back. She wants to be an event planner, not a biology major. Obviously, I'm all for college. That's why I'm there. I need it. But she doesn't. She can blaze her own trail. Thank you, Jack Kerouac. Stop the car. What's wrong? The bridge is closed. What if they closed it because of the earthquake? Oh, look at the cracks. Should I turn around? No, we don't have time. We're just going to have to drive across it carefully. You want to go over it? Carefully. Like that's going to make us any lighter. Just drive down the middle, slowly.
welcome back, folks. I'm Ron Yance, and we're bringing you everything we know so far about the series of earthquakes that have struck the greater Los Angeles area this afternoon, starting with the 4.0 magnitude quake off the coast of Malibu. Now, here's what we know so far. Authorities are attempting to dig out residents in four residential blocks near the intersection of Temescal Canyon Road and Pacific Coast Highway. Approximately 24 to 25 homes have been destroyed by landslides in what can only be called a massive avalanche. That's an earthquake. I'm, I'm under the table, folks. Please, everybody head for cover. Everyone be safe. This is serious. Please. Oh, this is not good. for aftershock activity since 1 a.m., not worst case scenario Excuse models. Excuse me, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. But what are these notes? Well, that's the activity today. That there, that's the 5.0 from 30 minutes ago, right? This is my Dunn's prediction data. It's a confirmation of the slip strike events. So it's a near perfect match with the recorded live data. The readings, they're going well into tonight. And they're topping over an M10. And you've cross-checked all this. Three times. So did Jenkins. Sir, those are not aftershocks. They're shocks. Henry, give me the governor's office. Okay, for those of you now just joining us, a general evacuation order has been issued for the entire city of Los Angeles. Now, this includes all of the outlying areas. I repeat, a general evacuation order has been issued for the entire city of Los Angeles and all of its outlying areas. The evacuation is mandatory. The magnitude of the next quake is expected to exceed the tolerance levels of most, if not all, of the area's infrastructure. Now, we do have confirmed estimates out of the United States Geological Survey putting the expected quake at a 10.0. An evacuation order has been issued for all of Southern California. Damn it. Any luck? No. Look, uh, since we're still paying for this, we need you to take us to Pasadena. What? No, Pasadena's not going to be any safer. No, to get our baby. Hey, look, I got my own wife and kid to worry about. They're relying on me. Wait, you said they were downtown, and this is on the way. Actually, it's not. From Malibu, first is downtown, then Pasadena. But we have a signed agreement with you. As soon as we fill up the chopper, we'll take This it. is our charter. Look, lady, you heard of force majeure. This is about as force majeure as you can get. Hold on! Look, honey, we'll be okay. Hey, fella, I'm glad to see you. We need to rent a chopper. Sorry, man, everything's gone. As soon as I swap out this starter, I'm out of here. I wish I could help you, but only a two-seater. Come on, there's gotta be something we can rent. Anything. What about that one? Please, sir. <laughs> that old relic? I won't get it two feet off the ground without a new rotor pin. Can't you please fix it for us? Uh, look, I gotta get out of here. All right, they're saying this whole valley will be underwater by the time this quake hits. Look, I'm begging you. My wife and daughter are depending on me. Sorry, man. It's every man for himself. 5,000. What? I will pay you 5,000 bucks to fix it. I, I don't know. I'd have to weld a makeshift piece. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. 10,000. Uh, I will do my best. No promises. On one condition. 
we get my baby first. Okay, listen, um, we have tried a couple of different routes and they are no good. Hank, if you can see a route and get a text out to us, anything, we sure would appreciate it. Um, we're gonna keep trying. Allie? Jackson? Yeah. Hello, hello, get me out of here. Thank God, open the door. What do you think I'm doing? Help me pry this door open. Okay. Oh, oh, thank God. I have to get to the room and get medication. He's having a heart attack. Help them. Room 1333. Nitroglycerin on the bedstand. Hurry! Um, sir, could you give me a hand? I, sir! Mr. Kaplan? Mr. Kaplan! We do have confirmed estimates out of the United States Geological Survey putting the expected quake at a 10.0 in approximately 90 minutes. An evacuation order. Help Gary with something on the third floor, some kind of injury. Breathe, go, go. I'll be on walkie. Breathe, breathe, just relax. From the San Andreas okay. fault line, I repeat, a general evacuation order has been issued for the entire city of Los Angeles and all of its outlying areas. Evacuation is strongly urged as the magnitude of this quake. Evacuation? We've got to get out of here. You said this place can handle an 8.0? We gotta go, okay, like now. Wait! Please, we need your help. I can't carry you. Uh, Allie. Yeah, go ahead. I just got word the National Guard wants us all on an evacuation bus in 30 minutes. They can only fit like 100 people. Okay, we're coming. 100? We gotta hurry. We'll make it. I promise you, we'll make it. I, 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 I just can't take that chance. Please. Fine. But if we don't make it on that bus, there's gonna be hell to pay. Who can predict earthquakes anyway? My stepmom, actually. Zoo Drive. The freeway looks packed. Well, you're right about Canyon Road. Yeah. Collapsing bridge aside. Oh, where are we? It's a shortcut through Griffith Park, behind the zoo. I hate to admit it, but I'm really glad you came along. Wow. Ellie never listens to me. Well, if you think she listened to everything I say, you got another thing coming. And she just crosses her arms and says, fine, and then does whatever she was doing anyways. Oh, yeah, I get that. Followed by a slam door. Oh, I had that. You know, I signed her up for self-defense classes. I told her New York could be a dangerous place. Huh? Wait, what? She said she was going to tell you. You're moving to New York? Not right away. After I graduate. Why? Because we want to live there. And you're taking my stepdaughter with you? I'm not taking her, okay? We want to live together. 
No way. Absolutely not. Okay, for starters, she's gonna go back to school and get a degree. Event planner or not, okay? Because this is completely ridiculous. Look, nothing's set in stone. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What the heck was that? I don't know, I barely saw it. Oh, please don't tell me that was human. Maybe it was a dog? That's just as bad. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a baby hippo. It's alive. <sighs> Escape from the zoo, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the animals can feel it coming. This is gonna be bigger than anything we've ever seen. We might not make it out, you know. I'm Ron Yance, and this is 10 Action News with the latest on really the only way to describe this situation now is, is a swarm of earthquakes, a swarm of ever more violent, ever more stronger earthquakes. I just don't know how else to put it. We're doing our best to keep our broadcast on the air for you. Now, we've just had to switch over to our diesel generators. For those of you just joining us, an evacuation order has been issued for all of Southern I think we're California. the only idiots driving into town. Shh. Routes going into the downtown area have been blocked by the National Guard, and both sides of the 10 freeway are now flowing east. Everyone is urged to get out, and get out now. Oh, please let her be all right. She will be? The MTA has announced the suspension of all subway services, but buses are taking people east of the San Andreas fault line. I repeat. A general evacuation order has been issued for the entire city of I didn't of even know she wanted to be an event planner. I feel like I've spent the last six years trying to get to know her, and some kid with a rap sheet comes along and she just spills her guts. It's part of being a parent, I guess. Your mother know you? My mom probably assumes I'm in jail. And my dad is MIA. My mom kind of just checked out, so I hooked up with a tough crowd. I didn't know that. 
That's why I've sunk everything into college. Just hoping I can turn everything around. You know I can't change your grade because of a sob story, though. Yeah, I'm not asking for that, okay? I'm just asking that you treat me like I'm someone that belongs there. Not like I'm some loser that just walked into class. You really think I'd care so much about a grade if I wasn't being serious? Okay. If the college is still standing after all of this, you've got a deal. And same thing with Allie, okay? I won't lie, I put up the numbers. Don't need to hear that. No, look. Uh, she's exactly what I need, okay? I want to be the guy she deserves. That's what drives me. That's sweet. But just so you know, she's my daughter. And I don't care much what she does for you. I care what you do for her. Please stop! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop! Please stop! Oh, Nick, I don't think we should stop. Nick, please, we don't have much time left to get to Allie. Everything okay? I am so sorry to stop you like that, but no one will stop. I tried calling AAA, and all you get is this recording saying that nobody's available. Okay, so you got some car troubles? Yeah. <laughs> all right. We got a giraffe trample over our car. We gotta go, all right? Let's get you out of here. Why are you guys heading that way? Uh, you gotta get out. My girlfriend's downtown. Oh, honey, you're never gonna make that. Well, we gotta try. No, 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 no. You gotta listen to me. Why are you heading up that way? How many miles you we got gotta on get this? A About 100,000. Uh, can you start the car for me, please? <laughs> okay, you can turn it off. <sighs> yeah, I can't fix this. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's cool. We got room in our car. You can come with us. We don't have time to go downtown. Please, there's roadblocks. It's suicide. Well, we gotta try, okay? We got the room. You can come along. No, no, no. no, no, no. Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm Whoa. sorry. We have to get out now. God damn it. My daughter is all I've got. And we don't have time to go downtown. I have to get my baby out, so let's go. I gotta save my baby too, okay? I can't leave her. We, we gotta have a top of a top of a building We have there. to get out now. Have you not been listening to what they have been saying? I can't leave her. Is that your final word? <laughs> okay, you, whoever you are, I'm gonna shoot this nice young man if you don't give me those car keys. No, Mom, don't. Sarah, there are no keys. Wait. I hot-wired the car. Mama, please. What? Ma'am, we are willing to take you no, wherever you want to go okay. out. No, it's okay. All right? Just just, just go get Ali. That's what's important right now. You better not. Just tell her I love her. Go! Mom! I will shoot him. Oh. I mean it. I'm going to shoot him. Mom! I mean it, Sarah. I will shoot my man. No! 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 Oh. 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 I told you to go. And I told you we shouldn't have stopped. The National Guard has closed down all access into downtown Los Angeles. All traffic on the 10 freeway is now eastbound. There is no westbound traffic. You cannot get to downtown Los Angeles. The governor has declared a state of martial law, and anyone caught trying to get into downtown LA will be arrested. Shit, they're getting closer. What do you mean? What are you doing? Seeing how much time we have left. You got a signal? A fake data signal. Shit, my battery. I have a backup. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Damn it. No, no, it? shit, no. What is it? This thing that I wanted to give to Ali. She loved it. What was it? Ferdinand. Who? Ferdinand, this stupid duck. Damn it. You okay? Yeah, it's stupid. Oh, this can't be right. Updated estimate. It's gonna be bigger than we thought. It's saying a 12.0. Nothing's gonna be left standing. So we better get going. Yeah.
hit LA earlier today measured at 5.3, according to the United States Geological Survey. That quake was followed by several strong tremors. One of them, we believe, was another quake. There was some damage to some buildings and homes, but nothing like the one that's about to hit in roughly 60 minutes. evacuation has been given to Los Angeles and all of the surrounding outlying areas. Pretty much anyone west of the San Andreas fault line must evacuate. A major catastrophic earthquake event has been predicted to strike downtown Los Angeles at any minute. Shit! They're detaining people. Hey, you guys can't be here. We're evacuating. Oh, we're so close. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Tunnels. Sewer? No, prohibition tunnels. I used to run all up and down them. They're famous. Look at where? Wow. Okay, follow me. Okay. The entrance is over here. Okay. Life your data is off and it's early. If I'm crushed alive. And? Away. The tunnel runs right under it. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Careful for this wire. Might have some electricity in it. This is crazy. Are you sure you know your way around down here? Just trust me. Watch your step. Okay. Quake, there's no sign of trauma. It's like he just died. What killed him? I don't know. Same thing that's corroding this penny. Hydrogen sulfide. Earthquake must have caused the leak. <coughs> this poor guy must have been just down here working when he got overcome. Is it explosive? Very. <laughs> that means <laughs> we're in big trouble. Come on.
I tell them. Tell them I helped you. I didn't have to help you. You told me that we would make it on that bus. Sir, I understand, but... Look, it's leaving. Look, I have a life. Why should I be punished for helping them? That doesn't make any sense. Sir? I'm getting on that bus. Sir, get your hands off me. Hey! No! Get your hand off me! Get off me! No! I deserve to be on that bus! Calm down, sir! Calm down, sir! Get Calm off down! Me. Calm down, sir! Calm down! I back off. You don't get to choose who lives and who dies. I was supposed to be on that bus. I helped them! Well, if you get to choose, well, then so can I. Mr. Kaplan, please, don't. You used me. hear or see this. I don't want her to lose hope, but I don't want you to lose hope either, but things are getting really tight down here. And you know, I'm not the kind to get sentimental. But I just want you to know that I love you. You big, strong, wonderful, reliable you. You are the Horrible to my Wilbur. Don't you dare say Redenbacher because that's a stupid joke and I've always hated it and you're too old to be saying it anyway. But Hank, you are my husband, my partner, my granite rock. And I thank God for you every day. Thank you so much for saving me. You have no idea. And no matter what happens, there's nothing that's going to take away how I feel for you and what you mean to me. And if we don't get out of this alive or together, just know that I love you. I love you, Hank. Go get Allie. Get our baby girl. <coughs> <coughs> strong. We should make it without us. We another four shots coming. You sure? One hundred percent. Little crushes. Probably. Chevy <laughs> Chevet. What? Electric blue, nineteen seventy seven Chevy Chevet. That I love with my whole heart. It was my first call. Hey. Um. Wake up. <sighs> 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 safe to say that you would have moved heaven and earth for Ellie. Ironic choice of words. <laughs> yes, I love Ellie. She could have done a lot worse. So, you talk about my grade now? Not changing it. <laughs> Didn't think so.
Ferdinand was our first kid. What? Ferdinand was uh, a dumb little toy. Kelly hated it, but uh, she threw it away or dropped it or something. I kept it. Yeah, when she found that I had it, she made fun of me. But it grew on her and she got sentimental about it. A little toy. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I just wanted to give it to her. Let me look for a, a paper clip or something. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. You can call the spark. Come on. to rendezvous at the bomb shelter. I don't believe you. <laughs> Downtown LA is the last place anybody would want to be during a 10-point out. Now give me the keys. Mr. Kaplan, I think we should go to the shelter. You have a car, don't you? <laughs> give me the keys. It's too late for that. I think going to the shelter. No, everything is going to come down. We have to try. It is my turn to get some help!
have to be on that bus. I help them. You don't get to choose. I help them. No. no. I can't believe you're here. We have to get out. No, we have to get to the roof. What? No, the place is going to collapse. People, listen. We got to go. The bombshell's two blocks away. No way. We are talking about an M12 now. Nothing within miles of this place will be left standing. What? Come with us, okay? There's a the helicopter on the roof, or will be. I hope. Are you serious? Ma'am, I have orders. You guys have to come with me. And I am telling you that this is your only chance to survive. This is insane. Sir! Get him up! Move out! Come on. Is there room for Jackson? You fast? I ran a 5K fun run last month. Come on. We don't have much time. We have to get to the roof. Is he? Oh God, I am so sorry, Mrs. Lawrence, but we have to hurry. When I see the two of you look at each other, your boyfriend, huh? Makes me think of us 40 years ago. I'm only going to slow you down. Go. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <gasps>
Castle.